Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Oak Tree TV. I'm Dave Kemp and today I'm joined by Katherine Richardson. Katherine, say hello. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely, Katherine. Thanks for joining today. So Katherine is the Director of Market Expansion and Integration at Cochlear. And the reason I wanted to bring her on today is to talk about, you know, Cochlear as a company, what they're working on, and then more particularly the Cochlear Provider Network that they've recently rolled out. So Catherine, why don't we start there? Why don't you tell us a little bit about Cochlear and Cochlear Implants today? Sure, I'd love to. Thank you. Um, first, um, Cochlear is known as the global leader in implantable hearing solutions, providing more than 550 thousand uh, implantable devices, helping people of all ages to hear. Um, we really aim to support cochlear implementation as a standard of care for patients uh, with severe to profound hearing loss. And um, we also uh, provide bone conduction uh, devices, which help people with conductive loss, mixed loss, and single-sided deafness. Our promise is to help people hear here now and always, um, which means that we aim to provide them with a lifetime of, of hearing care and support, um, which includes the Cochlear Provider Network. That's awesome. So let me ask you, what is the Cochlear Provider Network? <laughs> so the Cochlear Provider Network, or CPN as we call it for short, um, is a, an exclusive uh, cochlear implant professional group. And what we aim to do is connect hearing aid dispensing clinics to um, cochlear implant surgeons and centers. Uh, we have over 300 clinics in the network today, and uh, we formed this network about five years ago out of a need for increased patient access. All right, so what do you mean by that, increased access? Well, we know that only about 5% of people in the United States with severe to profound hearing um, loss that can benefit from this technology actually receive it. And there are many factors for this, but the major one being um, lack of access. So we have cochlear implant surgeons across the country um, kind of spread out. And when a patient um, goes for um, cochlear, implement, cochlear implant surgery, um, they uh, then will need to return for activation and also for follow-up appointments. So this means a lot of travel, uh, can mean a lot of expense and stress for the patient. So the Cochlear Provider Network um, enables providers to work with the cochlear implant surgeons so that they can provide that activation and those follow-up appointments um, in their clinic. And very often, this patient has been seen by this audiologist for their entire patient journey, so it's really nice for them to be able to return to that clinic to receive those cochlear implant um, services. I love that. That's really, really cool. So let me ask you, who can become a member of the Cochlear Provider Network? Uh, the simple answer to that is really any qualified audiologist who wants to differentiate themselves um, in this um, industry and become a multi-specialty um, clinic can be part of the Cochlear Provider Network. Now, in addition, um, they do need to be able to bill for their services, be a Medicare provider, and really be comfortable partnering with surgeons. So, okay, once the audiologist has sent this cochlear implant, uh, cochlear implant candidate to the surgeon to receive a cochlear implant, what happens next? Yes, so um, following the surgery, the patient will then return to the clinic um, for activation and for those follow-up appointments. Um, and also they will uh, receive a hearing aid on the other side if that's necessary. So in your eyes, what are the benefits of implementing cochlear implants into one's practice? Well, there are a lot of benefits to implementing cochlear implants into a practice. The major one is that now you're able to provide um, all hearing solutions to all of your patients. And, and that's the biggest thing. Um, you, ha you probably will have some patients in your office that um, they're no longer seeing benefit from hearing aids any longer. Maybe they're still struggling on the phone or with music. And now you can confidently walk them through the next step of their patient journey and really experience um, you know, some of those amazing results that we can provide. And the results really are amazing. So in addition to that, you can set yourself apart in the community. You can build those relationships with surgeons and other community healthcare leaders 
Um, you'll retain your patients, you'll invite new patients in, and you'll also introduce an alternative revenue source since audiologists can bill for cochlear implant services. No, I think that's a really smart thing, you know, especially considering all of the talk around disruption and, you know, exactly. this, this new world where um, there's some uncertainty around, you know, what the service delivery model looks like. And I think something like cochlear implants is an awesome new way to generate new revenue like you, like you mentioned there. So um, for CPM providers, what kind of training are they going to receive to be able to provide these types of services to their patients? So um, most providers are very comfortable fitting hearing aids and learning about hearing aids. And if that's the case, they're gonna be very comfortable with the training that we provide. Um, the Cochlear Provider Network will, will give them all of the education, the equipment, and the support that they need to implement um, these practices into their scope of practice or expand their scope of practice. Um, so the thought that Cochlear Implants is um, are too time consuming or too complicated is simply inaccurate today. So what other benefits do audiologists receive by being part of this uh, cochlear provider network? Well, just as cochlear provides a superior level of support for our recipients, um, they, they provide the same, or we provide the same level of support to professionals. So um, as a provider in the CPN, uh, you'll receive ongoing education and support. Um, we'll help you to identify and counsel those patients. We'll help you to expand that scope of practice. And we'll also assist you with the financial health of your practice. So um, the other thing that the network provides is it's really a, um, a forum to interact with your colleagues and share ideas and, and talk about this experience and really um, help each other to stand out in the community. So last question here, for all the you know, audiologists and hearing healthcare providers that are watching this, what would you say is the first step in becoming part of this CPN That's network? That's a great question. Great question. The first step um, is to contact us and um, it's very easy. We're at cpn at cochlear.com. Um, again, that's cpn at cochlear.com, and that will reach me, and I'll be happy to reach back out answering any other questions. Um, I actually have a great um, uncovering uh, the myths around cochlear implant paper that I can send out for more information, and um, I'll help you along the CPN journey. Awesome. Well, we'll be sure to link that in the, uh, in the comments below. And I think you know this has just been a really great, insightful conversation that we've had to really understand you know cochlear implants and, and how um, all of those people that are watching here today, that, you know, ways that they can get involved in this. And it seems like just a really, really good opportunity to expand the scope of their practice. So, Catherine, thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for everyone uh, who tuned in. We'll see you all next week. Cheers.